Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. What do you see that goes on that you think that needs to be fixed? You mind your business? All right, so if you just mind your business, what about your, your family? Your cousins, your, your brother, you got any brothers, sisters? What about them? You can't? Two different people. So, so but what I just read right here, this doesn't resonate? All right, let me ask you a question. Do you? What was the first thing that uh, that happened when when we went when the world went dark from COVID nineteen? What was the first thing they did when they allowed us to come out? Do you remember? All right, so the world got shut down, right? What was the first thing they? What was the first law they passed? Once we was able to come out and, and be amongst each other again. Man, Put them, okay, they said wear a mask, but that wasn't the law. That's not something they wrote in legislation. The first thing they did was legalize marijuana. That was the first thing they did. They legalized marijuana and then they let you out. Why do you think they did that? Why do you think they legalized marijuana after they locked you up for decades for that? Why now say, hey, look, it's okay to smoke weed? Has the government ever did anything for us that's beneficial? What you think, sis? Why would they say, hey, look, hey, you can smoke weed now? That's, that's to destroy us. Give me Psalms 83. That was to destroy us. That was an evil plot because they know our brothers love smoking weed. Why? Because we destroy it. We don't know how to have marriage in our households, to raise properly, keeping God's laws, and we out here just doing our own thing. Give me verse 3. Psalm chapter 83 and verse 3. They up. have taken crafty counsel. So that is crafty counsel, We Against thy people huh? and consulted against thy hidden one. Read it from the top again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. That day is going into the United States government. Bring it out. The United States government took crafty counsel. That crafty counsel was, you know what? We're going to put COVID-19 out there because that was a man-made disease. Let's just be honest. It was a man-made disease. They put that out there, and then they said, you know what? We're going to make them sit in the house while we do things outside, and then we're going to legalize marijuana and let them go out. So now marijuana is what? Being heavily used, and our minds is being destroyed. So it's not a coincidence that the crime rate there isn't. Because this weed, these drugs is destroying us. Right. So a solution is what? Marriage. Right. That's one of the solutions. Hey, don't go nowhere, bro. Huh? All right, sis, let me show you something. Come on over here. We need the man to stand up in our communities. Right. Hey, bro, I see you over there listening. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Come here for a minute, bro. Right here. With, right here. With the, you. Let me ask you a question. Can I show you something on this side? Okay, understood. Come on right here, sis. Who is this? Understood. You never seen this picture before? Who is this? Jesus? Okay. Have you ever read the Bible before? Yeah. Have you ever read the book of Revelations? Okay, get Daniel. Let's get Daniel real quick. Let's get Daniel. All right, because the Bible details and shows exactly who God's people are. It gives the skin tone. It gives the attributes, the attitude, all of that. How we think, how we look, all of those things. God is so hip, he even put our slang in there. 
Think he puts our slang in there together. They let us know, look, the so-called white man is not people, God's people. That's over there in Jerusalem. Nah, that's not, that's not God's people. I'm going to prove it just with this right here. Read that. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. Behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. His body was also like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished bread. So this was Daniel giving a description of Jesus Christ. He said his arms and his face was like the polished brass, right? Now we're going to read about him again in the book of Revelations. Read it. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he said his head and his hairs was white like wool, meaning the hair on his face and the hair on his hairs was white like wool. You see my brother right here? He got woolly hair. You know what I'm saying? So we get white, woolly hair. We all as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Hold on, boy. What's your name? You know the color of Jesus? You don't? That's what we're going over. This is important information. Listen up. Wherever you was about to go, it ain't going nowhere. We're not going to be here that long. This message can help save your life. It can help something click in your brain, so now you can go help save somebody else's life. You understand that? Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ had white, woolly hair. Touch your head. That's how it felt. That's how Christ's hair felt. That's how it looked. You understand? Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white and woolly, not stringy. So we got to ask ourselves, why is this image in our minds? Why is this image being pushed in the churches? Why is this image being pushed on television? These are lies. Why is this happening? Why don't we ask these questions? As men, why we don't ask these questions? So this lets you know that there's a hidden agenda to destroy the true people of God. We are. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet look like fine brass. What is the color of brass, bro? Brown. So Christ had woolly hair, brown skin. What does that mean? What kind of man? What kind of different man? He was a black man. He looked like you. There's nothing to be ashamed about. That's how, you know what? The reason why we don't take this serious? Because of this right here. Because of slavery. They beat it out of us. They beat us to so much lowness that we don't even take this serious. I'm sitting here telling you the greatest man that walked on this earth out of the Bible is a black man with woolly hair and we don't even care. That's right. This, this information, when I first heard it, man, you know what? I had mixed emotions. I was angry and I was happy at the same time. The reason why I was angry is because, man, I've been lied to. Do you like to be lied to? What about you? I don't like to be lied to. Be straight up and honest with me. But then I was overjoyed because, man, all my life, I thought this was Jesus. I looked at myself like I was nothing. But then when I found out that Jesus was a black man with woolly hair, I had pride. I stuck my chest out. I had my head up. You understand? So that's the importance of knowing who Jesus is. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity.